I have fought to overcome my trauma. I love being able to advocate and raise awareness about Munchausen syndrome by proxy so that I can one day help others. I want people to know that they can break the cycle, they can overcome their trauma, they don't have to be anything like you and still be successful in this world. You are not a role model. You are not somebody that I would ever want my child looking up to because what you are doing is not okay. You're, it's very manipulative and it honestly should stop. Gypsy Rose, who I have been covering off and on since she's come out of prison, my thoughts have not changed from the fact that why are we making people like this famous? I'm so anti the fact that Gypsy Rose is a celebrity. I blocked her. I've, okay, she, she is blocked, right? I've had her blocked, but she still appears everywhere. She purposefully puts herself you know, on the cover of TMZ. She purposefully gets these news stories because it's really exciting and we're gonna find out what she's doing. She's at it again, right? She is at it again with trying to silence people and trying to have accounts removed, all right? We know that she has been doing this, but she's now, instead of doing it to commentary channels, she's now targeting other creators who speak up as survivors from Munchausen by proxy syndrome. I don't, I don't have a response right now. Um, this feels condescending, but I'm, I'm just, I'm not gonna respond right now. This is a creator called Kate Marie, or Kate Marie? Kate Marie, her whole page, she's had it for a few years, is dedicated to speaking about her own experiences and she's been very forthcoming with it. I haven't checked out all of her content, just, uh, just to browse through, just to get a general idea, so, that is my basic knowledge. This video popped up on my feed basically explaining that Gypsy has stolen her story, that she's trying to have this lady's account removed, that she is just being a real shady snaky snake behind the scenes. And she's been using her platform, I think she said for around three years, talking about being a survivor. And she basically has had run-ins with Gypsy, whereby Gypsy is literally trying to have her account and other people's accounts taken down. She's been alleging that she's been stealing parts of Katie's story. And now Gypsy is having this like to and fro argument on one of her videos. It's like a complete mess, but there's a lot of footage to get through. Am I surprised? Am I surprised by this? No, we should never, no one should have ever made Gypsy famous in the very first place. Do I feel bad for her? Yes. Do I feel like she was a victim? 100%. Do I feel like she has also victimized other people? Hell yeah. She's come out of prison and she's getting a reality TV show. I'm gonna say this, and I'm really sorry if it offends people, but I think by people platforming Gypsy, it really shows the IQ of a lot of people. It shows the IQ of the general population if we're making Gypsy Rose famous. That's that's the that's the one mean thing I'm gonna be saying right now. I'm not calling you dumb. I'm saying that as a collective, we should all really be studied because Gypsy Rose Blanchard has now got a reality TV show that's gonna be coming out and she unalived her own mother and she's now coming out and she's like rich. I feel like you can be a victim and also victimize other people and I feel like that is her. I'm gonna be shortening this video. I'm not gonna be playing it in its entirety because it's nine minutes long. And by a video being nine minutes long, it's basically not my content anymore. Kate, I am a Munchausen syndrome by proxy survivor. And I think you guys need to know what's going on. I can't say her name because she will have my video removed, but you will know who this is about. Um, and I can drop it in the comments. So there is the face of Munchausen syndrome by proxy out there. This face of it um, believes they have sole ownership of it as if it is an advertisement title. They are against other survivors sharing their story. This particular face of it has targeted my account has trolled me in my lives, her stepmom has trolled me, and they master for my videos, and she wants me to stop telling my story. I have been on TikTok for three years sharing my story. No issues until she got out. I have been targeted um, by her uh, most recently, but even prior to that, I was targeted by her 
stands, as they call them. I have had some horrible comments. I have been put down. I have been told that I'm stealing from this person. I have been told um, that I am just jealous of them and I have to steal their story. Um, none of that is true at all. Actually, I found it really strange that um, somebody actually in the comments was telling me that this person was now claiming uh, they did go to law enforcement and that they were brought back home and um, their mom had them deemed mentally um, incapacitated. Well, that's that was strange because that's my story. <laughs> and those are details I've been sharing in my story. And earlier on, this person said they had never contacted law enforcement, ever. So, um, where I actually ran away and got brought back by the police. Um, and my mom had me uh, committed to a mental facility and claimed, like, claimed that I was crazy and um, had uh, horrible thoughts and things that, yeah. The point is, it's like, I haven't seen that, but if this person is not claiming parts of my story, that's even worse because... They've already said they've never um, had any part to do with that. Like, they've never contacted law enforcement at all. So, I really hope that's not new part of the story because uh, her story's already changed many times in other areas of her story. story. She doesn't want any survivors to share their story. She believes she owns it. She believes that she is the sole ownership of it. It is her advertisement. It is her way of profiting. Um, because she's legally supposedly can't profit like profit off of the crime. So this is her way. So um, no one else should be allowed to talk about my town syndrome. I knew about my story. I knew about my sister's story and I knew about Gypsy. So I used to be a um, huge supporter of hers until I learned the truth. And when she came out and her, st her details started changing, the way she has treated other survivors, the way she has treated people who are trying to get Nick of fair trial no matter who you are what crime you've committed what you've done in your life if you are facing trial you deserve a fair one everybody deserves a fair trial and if you look at the details nick did not get a fair trial what she's saying is that gypsy's story of when she ran away from her mum, like keeps on changing and that the narrative keeps on changing and just to add, someone asked, how do you know Gypsy reported your videos? Just curious. And Kate says she remade them as her own minutes after. I'd be really curious just to like see a side by side of the videos that she is talking about compared to the videos that Gypsy then made. My thing is, if you don't want to advocate, you don't want to raise awareness, which you've already made clear, you don't, don't, fine, don't, but stop slapping it on your videos like an advertisement because it's very disrespectful to us real survivors who would never ever use our abuse as an advertisement for a TV show. Uh, and of course, Gypsy had to respond. Gypsy had to respond to this and was like, regardless of how you view me, I wish you the best. And I'm gonna read out a few of these messages. This is from Gypsy. I'm not being condescending at all. My heart feels for any survivor and I applaud the strength to heal from any trauma. I'm truly lost right now. So today you now care because I talked about it and have people's attention. Let's be honest. I'm just on to say more open about my story. I always want to uplift a survivor. Katie said, Gypsy, you know who I am. You already told a creator over a month ago. I don't know who Kate is. I have messages still I sent in January and March. You have piggybacked off my videos and reported them. Yeah, this is the thing. She's literally going around and like trying to report because she wants to be the face of a Munchausen by proxy survivor, even though she's not really done anything to advocate for anything uh gypsy just stop i'm not okay with you pretending at this point you have something to say because it went viral other survivors have noticed also why are you contacting me like this and not through private message just because it's viral right uh gypsy then said when nina asked me if i knew a kate correct i said i'd never heard of a kate because i haven't until now also nina never gave an explanation of who you are to me when she messaged me asking me who is kate i'm like i don't know now if you're really really confused nina is another person who has kind of inserted herself into the gypsy rose blanchard circus like literally so i i feel like anyone who private messages gypsy or like has any form of communication i just 
yeah, I I feel like it's just getting way too close to the drama and I cannot keep up with it. Nothing against Nina. I just, I can't keep up with the like, the never ending drama that is going on between Gypsy and other people in their private messages. But she's basically just going on and she's saying, no, I don't know who you are. I don't know who you are. No, I'm not trying to have your stuff taken down. Which isn't true because Kate had already said that she had been in communication with Gypsy at one point or another. Gypsy does have a habit of coming around and kind of lying. She does have a habit of responding to people via a way of other people seeing them but then not talking to you directly. Like I say, she has tried to have like videos taken down, content. The next thing she's going to do is start falsely copyright striking people, which I can feel that is on the horizon. I'm sorry things got lost in translation, but I'm only wanting to wish you a happy life going forward and I'll leave this comment section at that. Kate said, I just don't get it. You've been in my lives. I've seen you. My followers have seen you. You've talked about me of other creators. You've reported my stuff and made your own videos as copy. Why now? Why care now? It's because I was a nobody until today, right? The thing is, is that none of this surprises me. I can't say whether or not she is copying Kate or not. Oh, and she's now back. I barely go in lies. Have you checked to make sure it was my verified account? Because trust me when I say I would never bully you like Nina is lying about. I know I have a past, but when I say that Nina is one of the most manipulative people manipulative people I've seen on social media thus far, it's an understatement. As I said, my support is always there for you. Are we surprised that Gypsy is doing this? Considering she's been doing it to other content creators, no. Should we be surprised? No. I just feel that we... <laughs> by platforming her in the very first place. This is the kind of stuff that was just going to go down. She then basically just goes on to kind of throw shade at Nina. Nina then arrives into the chat and Gypsy then says, thank you, I would never bully anyone, let alone another survivor. I am above that behavior. I conduct myself with high class grace. High class grace, no. No, no, no. Nothing about anything since you've been released has been high class grace, nothing. And I'm not the particularly the most classiest woman on the planet, but I will say, no, I respectfully, I disagree there. But let's talk about what you said in your live last night. So you said that people don't care about me and they never did care um, until I made a video invalidating Gypsy. I don't feel I invalidated Gypsy. I told the truth of things that were happening and I shared my opinion on some things. Um, because of what has been happening. And I even addressed those in the comments to Gypsy when she commented on my thread last night and she deflected and ignored those and continued to just say these sweet things and completely deflecting from the problems. So um, I have nothing to hide. I am sharing the exact truth. I didn't know that it was gonna go viral, um, but I'm, I'm thankful because I, believe I am helping a lot of people and um, I I'm grateful for that. What do you guys think about this? The fact that she's trying to take over a space, the fact that she's trying to silence creators, that she's reporting creators for not doing anything wrong. What do we feel about this or is this on brand with what we've seen so far from Miss Blanchard? I think it's unbelievable the fact that she's, you know, if it's true, she's stealing other people's content, stealing their stories. Uh, and then trying to report them to get them off the platform. That is just diabolical. It's very in line with what we've seen from Gypsy since her release. Uh, and I'm talking about things on like a personal level where she's like ditched Ryan, got with Ken, when really that was always the plan, wasn't it? That was always the plan. If anything, it's, in, it, it's, it's funny to view from a distance because it's like, you can just predict what's going to be happening time and time and time again. And we knew this was going to happen. She's now like trying to take over the Munchausen by proxy scene. She's now trying to take it over despite not doing anything to advocate against it for it. Surviving. Advocating for survivors. She's done nothing to do with that. But she wants to take all the stories and take all the attention. Are we surprised? Please let me know down in the comments. Um... Yeah, have a wonderful day wherever you are in this world. Take care of each other, take care of yourselves, and I will catch up with you guys. I really next. hope that people see this, start opening their eyes, recognizing this really negative behavior. And it's not just me, it's to other creators too. Um, but this behavior as a whole, and just consider like the bigger picture of all of this. This is not somebody that should be on a pedestal. And I will never tell anybody not to support her. Um, 
You can support her if you want to, but if you support her as a victim, then understand that there are also other people that survived that and don't put those people down um, for sharing their stories. We are nothing like her and I personally value that I am nothing like her.